Hey, this looks like a good spot right here. Let's let's set it up right here, okay? I hope we catch some big fish today. Yeah, hope we catch a shark. A big, big shark. Oh my god, Brittany. You should see this. This is like the third time this week there are people fishing on the dock. I'm gonna kick them out. I don't care anymore. I am tired of this nonsense. Can you people not fish here? Excuse me? Well, you heard me. Just pack up your stuff and go somewhere else. Daddy, are we in trouble? Of course you're not in trouble, son. If you don't leave immediately, you definitely will be in trouble. Big trouble. Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? If you don't leave immediately, I will be forced to file a formal complaint with the committee. Kick you out. For what? We haven't broken any rules. You have been warned. Now leave! Oh, damn. That lady was crazy. <laughs> she was furious. Yeah, I thought her head was gonna explode. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, here she comes again. Why are you still here? I told you to leave two hours ago. You have every right to be here. Well, I am tired of you people polluting this dock. I told you to pack it up. That's what you get for not listening. Okay, you're gonna regret this. Hey, Gina. This crazy lady is going crazy on the dock. Excuse me? What is going on here? Hi, Jeanette. Just having a conversation with a fellow club member. Stacy, you threw their gear in the water? You know what a mess these people are? These people? You realize I am going to have to send a formal complaint to the board? No. Please. It isn't necessary. We can just forget this happened. Go in the water and retrieve every piece of gear that you threw. Seriously, Jeanette? <laughs> Looks like someone's going swimming today, huh? Yeah, you mean old lady! You are not going to believe what I am seeing. <gasps> it's this black guy with these, walking down the street with these two fancy bicycles. Oh my God. Listen, I have to let you go. I have to stop him. Okay, bye. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Where did you get those two bikes? We know that you're lying and those aren't your bikes. Are you implying that I... Yes, I'm implying that you stole them. I mean, look at you. <laughs> There's no way in a million years that somebody like you is going to have these fancy bikes. Ma'am, you're being very offensive. I I'm leaving. Oh, no, you're not. Let go! Really? You think you could get away with this? I don't think so. Really, lady? I am not gonna let you get away with this, you thug! Hey, what the hell is going on here? Hey, James. This lady has been harassing me and accusing me of stealing these bikes. Who the hell are you, his accomplice? <laughs> you two look like you work together. Wow. Well, hello there. It's nice to meet you, too. That's it. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Go ahead. Call them. I just caught these two black guys red-handed stealing these fancy bikes from my neighborhood. Hey, give me, give me the phone. Why would I do that? I'm not going to ask you again. Oh my God, oh my God, now he's threatening to steal my phone. Please hurry. Lady, give me the phone. Hello, well, who's this? Hey Maria, it's Captain Porter. Are, are you really a police captain? Yes I am. Captain James Porter, Mango Park Police Department, at your service. I wasn't aware of that. I've decided that you're free to go, except I'm going to give you a written warning. No, I said no. Oh, I should have known you two would have tried to get me for something. It doesn't. Ricky, hold my bike. 
You are under arrest. What? What, what, what for? I tried to be reasonable with you, but I see you like to make things difficult. Ouch, 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 I didn't do anything wrong. I need to call my lawyer. <laughs> We're going to the station. You can call your lawyer when we get there. No, no, ow, ow, help, you're hurting me. Typical racist behavior from your typical neighborhood, Karen. Hello, Judith. Good morning. Ah, sorry I'm late. Rough morning. Uh, it's okay. I gave your first appointment to Ricardo, so your first student will be here in about an hour. Wow, we got a busy day. Yes, very busy. Perfecto. <laughs> okay. Great, great. So now I want you to back out and we're going to reverse the car and then you'll reverse into the same spot. And of course, try not to hit the cone. I'm sorry, it was just so hard to see the cone out of my mirrors. That's okay, sweetie, don't worry. I'm not gonna fail you just because you went over one little cone. <laughs> yeah, my appointment's at 11 a.m. I've been waiting here for almost an hour. Wait, I see my instructor coming. Let me call you back. Hey, you Alex Watts? The Lex Watson, yes. How are you? Busy. This is a really nice car. I'm surprised your parents let you borrow it. It's actually my car. Your car? Really? <laughs> Talk about spoiling your damn kid rotten. Probably drug money. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. Just make a right turn up ahead. So wait right here. I'm just going to jump out and set up the cones, and then we'll get this started. Yes, ma'am. I'll wait right here. OK, so now I want you to pull into the spot head first. OK, now I want you to back up, reverse the car, and back into the spot the same way. And don't, I repeat, do not hit any of the cones. Got it, Alex? Excuse me, ma'am, it's Dalex with a D. Let's go, Alex, Dalex, whatever your name is. The clock is ticking. So how was that? Not good. You hit a cone. I don't think so. Oh, yes, you did. You hit at least one. The spot was tight. I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> pretty good? Really? Pretty good? Look at this. Your tire is on top of the cone. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to mark you for that one. I was just saying that if, if you would have moved them. Just keep your mouth shut and your eyes on the road. Got it? What is she doing now? How many times do I have to tell her? What do you do with that one? Okay, Alex, now I want you to parallel park the car. Ma'am, remember, it's Dalex with a D. Oh my God, Dalex with a D. I'm gonna give you an F if you don't shut your mouth and listen to my instructions. Come on, come on, come on. Ow! Ah! Ah! What happened? You ran over my foot, you moron. Oh, you're never gonna get your driver's license. I'm gonna make sure that you never, ever get behind the wheel. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? This idiot ran over my foot. I did not. Oh, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue you and your family for every penny you got. You hear me? Okay. You're not getting okay. away with this. That's not happening. Darlene, how could you take his side? He ran over my oh, foot. Oh, no, he did no such thing. I saw the whole incident as I walked up. How could you take that black guy's side over mine? What did you say? You heard me. Try to learn from your mistakes. Best of luck, Judith. Goodbye. But my toes are crushed. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, I'm going to get my lawyers and I'm going to sue you for defamation of character. So, you getting ready for your birthday tomorrow? Yeah, I am. Uh, were you able to get the present I asked for? Oh, sweetie, I've been looking around for them for the past few days, and I can't find them anywhere. Look, Grandma, those are the shoes. They're the exact same pair. 
Are you sure those are the exact ones? Yeah, those are the exact same pair. Hang on a second. Let's we'll see if this guy can help us. Excuse me, young man. Oh, hi, hi. I'm sorry. My grandson and I were just driving by and we noticed your sneakers. Do you know where I could get a pair of those? I doubt it. They stopped selling these a while back. You know, it's just that my, it's my grandson's birthday tomorrow and I promised him the same exact sneakers and I can't find them anywhere. I feel you. Everybody wants these. Grandma, what are you doing? He can't help us. Can Give me we go a second, now? Michael. This might sound crazy, but could I offer to buy those sneakers for you? I'll pay you whatever you paid for them, plus an extra $10. Ooh, sorry, I'm not interested. Okay, I, I really like these shoes, so... Uh... Grandma, he's not interested. Michael, be quiet and stay out of this. Look, young man, I asked you very nicely, and I'm offering you a lot of money. Listen, lady, I already told you I'm not interested. That's it, young man. You asked for it. Are you crazy? Stop! Uh, oh. Hey, you stop! Why are you making this so hard on yourself? Girl, <laughs> stop! Okay, well, now that's out of line. That's whoa, your whoa, grandson. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on? Okay, well, this woman attacked me and then stole my shoe. That's a lie, officer. I offered to pay him twice the amount of money for these sneakers. How is that stealing? Okay, and then I said no, I didn't want to sell them, but then she took it anyway. That's not true. You agreed to sell them to me. That's a lie. But I did it for you, Michael. It doesn't matter. I can't arrest this lady, but I can call the police, tell them what happened here today, and testify. You know what? Just, just forget about it. All right, let's pretend that this never happened ever. Then, you know, I'm sorry. I mean, when I saw you wearing these sneakers, I thought I can help you out by offering you money. I'm sure you understand. What should I shoes do you wear? Six and a half, why? Perfect, perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get those shoes and then we'll call it even. What are you, crazy? I just got these shoes this morning, they're brand new. Hey, uh, security? Can you go maybe call the cops? My pleasure. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, here you go. I don't know what you need these for because these are women's shoes and they're way too small for you. Come on, Michael, let's go.